Hello, I'm Dr. Donna Siegel, founder of Perception Plus, and I would like to introduce Raphael Jadri, founder of Sound Therapy International. Thank you, Donna. Hi, everyone. Well, we're here today to talk about sound therapy, which is one of the modalities that Donna uses at Perception Plus. So, Raphael, can you tell me how does how does this whole system work? Okay. Well. Sound therapy is a portable listening program which is affordable and easy to use and people just listen to the beautiful music through headphones as they go about their day and what it does is it rehabilitates the ears and the brain so it treats a whole array of conditions from tinnitus, hearing loss, blocked ear, sound sensitivity and also memory, sleep and stress. So Raphael, tell me how does the sound therapy work? Okay, well when you listen to sound therapy, it comes in a pack like this. It's a handy carry bag that you can use to go away for the weekend or go out for the day. And inside there you have the sound therapy player and the charger in two parts. So you just slide the plug into the charger like that. And this little player is a very good quality sound player. So it plays our high quality sound therapy files and it's important to listen to them on the original player that they come on. What about, people often ask me, is this an MP3 player? Can you, can you clarify that? Yeah, it's not actually an MP3 player, Donna. This is a very high quality sound player, whereas MP3 is a low quality file that wouldn't give the therapeutic benefit. So you can't ever copy the sound therapy onto another device. You have to listen to it on this player so you get the full benefit of the therapy. So how many hours a day does uh, someone need to listen to this music? Uh, approximately three hours a day. It depends on the person and we have tailored routines that people work out to suit their level of auditory fitness. But the great thing is, Donna, it doesn't take three hours out of your day because you have it on while you're doing other things. So people have sound therapy on while they're watching TV, doing the gardening, exercising at the gym, even having a conversation, working on the computer or sleeping. So it's simply something that you add in. It plays at very low volume so you can barely hear hear it and so it doesn't detract or distract from what you're doing in fact it makes your concentration sharper and it makes it easier to go on with your day and be successful and if you wear it during sleep it actually gives you a deeper sleep a more beneficial sleep so it's just an aid to help you with whatever you're doing throughout the day so tell me what happened for you, Donna, when you started using sound therapy. Well, it was really amazing, Raphael. Uh, I was listening to the sound therapy, and I remember it distinctly. I was just sort of relaxing. I was laying on the floor, and I felt this pop in my ear. It was just really amazing. Yes. And after that, it was as if everything just opened up. Uh -huh. And uh, I noticed that the it was just a very low level tinnitus. I think just from being an audiologist and years ago we used to listen to a lot of hearing aids uh, with stethoscopes before we had now our advanced equipment. Uh -huh. And I had some high frequency hearing loss in my left ear. Mm -hmm. And so as time went on, the tinnitus started to to dissipate. And I had one of the audiologists retest my hearing, and my hearing had improved in those higher frequencies. Not only that. I noticed that when I listen to classical music ever since then, I can hear nuances in music that I never heard before. And then when I moved on to the advanced kit, yes. I really noticed that. So it was really quite amazing. Isn't that fantastic? It was. Yes. And you know, we've had a lot of people report some kind of a shift or a sensation or an opening in the ear. And of course, Dr. Tomatas talked about the opening of the ear. And sometimes it is a real physical thing. Like in your case, I would think that was probably an opening of the eustachian tube and a balancing of the pressure in your ear. Do you think it was that kind of thing? I don't know what it was. I just know that not only has the sound therapy helped me for ear-related issues, um, I have used the sound therapy after work. As soon as I put it on, it's it's like uh, you know putting on a, a, a warm comforter like out of the dryer. You know, you put it on and it's just like within 10 or 15 minutes, the whole body just relaxes and. Um, headaches and neck pain and, and any kind of physical issues, uh, it's, it's really quite an amazing system. It has had a profound effect upon my life and that's why I feel so passionate about it, uh, utilizing it with people, not only for tinnitus, 
Uh, but it is, I think it can be very, very beneficial for tinnitus and ear related symptoms. Mm. But it does help people with a whole array mm -hmm. of stress related conditions, doesn't it? I remember a woman once who told me that the minute she put the sound therapy on, she felt as though someone had put a warm hand between two wet blankets in her brain. Isn't that an amazing image? And we get people who just say that their stress is gone and they're sleeping where they hadn't slept in decades and it can make a huge difference to people's lives, can't it? It, it can. And, and the more that I have read Dr. Tomatis's work, it's just amazing. Um, this is a therapy unlike any other type of therapy. And I think that people should, uh, should really give this a try. Um, and it's really, it's very cost, it's very cost effective. Yes, it is. We try to keep it portable, affordable and easy. That's our whole mission is to get this therapy to people so mm -hmm. that everyone can have access to it. And so we're, we're extremely grateful and honoured to have you working with us and bringing it out to the public in America with your work. So oh, thank well, you my very pleasure. much, Donna.